Hello and welcome back to another episode. Uh, slightly recap, in the last uh, session we decided to go ahead and uh, pursue the diplomatic route with the, the merfolk. They're definitely hiding uh, quite a few details, uh, but no uh, deeper conspiracy seemed to come to light. We've completed a amenable trade-off, and now our heroes are choosing the next stage of their journey. So, I don't believe that we've actually left that little oasis yet that we were at with those merfolk, so I wanted to ask them. So you said that you're not going to be coming back to land, but if we wanted to get in contact with you, do you have anything that we'd be able to send some correspondence, like any sort of artifact where we'd be able to reach out to you? We maintain a pretty consistent uh, correspondence with uh, one of the citizens of Wainan. Um oh. Uh, fisherwoman, uh, we know her as, as Gaiba. She the took me on a walk? Yes. My girl? She was definitely trying to sleep. You said her name was Gaiba? <laughs> Gaiba. Exactly. I love like, it. Like Kaiba, but with a G? Yes. Sweet. <laughs> I was trying weird, for right? a name that I could remember, but that was not trademarked or utilized in some sort of popular media. media. And also wasn't some sort of Gaiba. fun about So, anything. they're in contact with Gaiba, who is not in the company that sent us on this trip that took these eggs out. Yes. We have we do have uh, communication with them as well regularly, but uh, if you're looking for a more surreptitious way of communicating with us, a more secret way of uh, communicating with us, that would be my recommendation. Uh, I feel like she's secretly a murderer. <laughs> she's living my dream. <laughs> She's a Just an old, old lady in a sea cottage, and then every once in a while, I was like, I'm gonna go swimming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I'll start a revolution or a revolt. <laughs> Who knows? I'll decide in the car. Uh, do you guys have any other communities posted elsewhere that we might be able to let them know that we know and are friends with you guys? So that way, if we need to take a stop for some respite anywhere, we might have some of your. Merfolk compatriots to take us in? That may be overall difficult for you. I don't believe it is my place to decide to divulge that information, but if you do decide to commune with the Queen and wish to discuss that, I'm sure this is something that we'd be more than amenable to talking about then. Okay. Do we want to try to return later to come talk to the Queen, or should we just continue on our journey in this caravan? I think. I don't think scared. we need to talk to the Queen. They seem like they're finding a new place to hide their little eggs. And you guys are seem They're happy in our to. Debt now. I, I <laughs> wanted to go with them and be like, "Can we help you in any way?" And then you guys were like, "Give us something," and they gave us a thing. So, so <laughs> they seem like they're we fine. Didn't say anything. We got there, and they offered. You that literally up yelled out, "Gold." <laughs> they didn't give us gold, did they? So, if we were to come back here and we don't see any of you around, is there some sort of signal or any way that we can let you guys know that we've come to talk? We gotta uh, just go through Guy Bay. Yeah, you can just go through, through Guy Bay. Okay. I mean, if you were strong swimmers, you could just continue to the coast from here. Um, have to swim generally south, uh, but you'd also have to kind of go farther out in the sound than would be good for you. Unless okay. strong well, swimmer, we're good here. We'll note that we can talk to you through Gaiba. If you guys need anything from us, again, we're the Wage Warriors, and you can tell Gaiba to get to us. She's my girl. Okay. <laughs> that, uh, she'll know. That, that name feels. It's given. It's given feels. <laughs> it's definitely a mercenary name. Uh, it is. No, it is. It, definitely... It's a name of all time. It is appropriate to your general um, life goal, so I, I salute you on that. I wouldn't say it's mine, but <laughs> I'm here anyway. But yeah, I think we're good to go. Here for Not the people, our way. the folk. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, mountain up on good the Good luck on your... Here. <laughs> little guck. Good luck on hiding your sex. Uh, little guck looks up to you and nays uh, as you... Uh, uh, no. Point, he, he kind of... Does one of these like hook paw things? Just try to imitate uh, cupping dice. Ooh, you want to oh, gamble? I got it. <laughs> 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 I'm grabbing out the bone dice and I'm just gonna oh throw God. them on the ground. 
<laughs> and act like I know what he, the hell he's talking about. <laughs> I love how we have a gambling horse. He, he's my favorite of the whole group. We're just going to play high number here with one D20. With D20? Oh. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what I'm winning off this. Yeah, course. what's the horse gambling? What's yeah. the horse what does the horse have to gamble with me? Ooh. <laughs> uh, if he wins two out of three, you have to give him a piggyback ride. What do I win? Uh, Just a he, ride? He does. A, he deigns to continue carrying you for the rest of his days. <laughs> yeah, that's not good enough for me. I'm in charge here. <laughs> First cut of all the oats. Well, technically, though, technically, we don't own this caravan, and we're just traveling along with it. We I want ownership of Lil' Gup. Now we're like, sorry, I made a deal with your horse. And if you don't <laughs> Gup comes with us I want full ownership of Lil' Gup. So you just stare him directly in his eyes, and you just kind of like, I know what you're, I, I see what you're picking as, up. As I'm doing that, I'm just like, stream, and I just have water just pouring down on me and my flowing luscious locks. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're we're throwing. All right. Lifetime of commitment versus a piggyback ride. It's 14. Uh, you're going to want to flex that back, sir. 18. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, Mr. Weather. Yeah. All right, roll me a strength check. Oh, God. <laughs> Accidentally blast it with this new fountain. <laughs> Five on the strength check. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you, you kind of like slide in underneath the, the horse. And you throw your shoulders up and you lift, and then like he just kind of like bends over the top of you, <laughs> and his, his paws are touching yeah. on well, his hooves are touching on each side, and you just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was super right. disappointing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not very good at gambling, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but you love it so much. It's the best. <laughs> You're supposed to ride the horse. <laughs> You're only one gamble horse. You're big. I, I can't even talk back to you guys. I'm just. <laughs> 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 I'm picturing his back hose just kind of dragging along the road. Yeah, I've only <laughs> got the upper half. <laughs> Question: Would we be able to use the force of the propulsion that comes out of his? What's that thing called again? Oh, the the can through a bendless water. Would we be able to use that, like, propel us forward as like a nice little boost on our, like, our caravan? Like, if the horses are deep, would we blast it to make it's us only like, thirty gallons? So it'd be one jet quick, and then that's it. <laughs> yeah, but then you can keep doing that over and over. Because it does D four four, so it has some sort of pro uh, propulsion. Yeah, I mean that's actually pretty well. I mean, I, I like the idea. I think that if we were in a situation where it were fun or funny to do that probably but it's not like he's able to push 200 pounds so or, maybe not on the caravan but yeah. in other circumstances i was about to say and also since i'm so small if i put it like under me and try to direct it in a location could i try to use it to like fling myself over like taller walls you are light enough that that would work but keep in mind that it would fling you but it doesn't exactly have any kind of landing mechanism built into it i could try to direct it well enough for a soft <laughs> landing Go like but this is just for the back pocket. All right. Translation, you can certainly try. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can certainly try. All right, let's continue on. All right, so you guys uh, take a bit of time, but you make your way back to the caravan. Uh, Lehman, uh, for his credit, uh, waited, but you realize it's because he had no interest in reloading the, the wagon. He just kind of gives you a look like, you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna go ahead and finish that up, right? Actually, you I'm know what? You just say like, uh, I'm not your your parent, so you made your own mess. You can clean it up. I have no response. I'm carrying a horse. <laughs> is it your <laughs> is it your job to transport the caravan? It's our job to defend it. Ooh, who's the one who's I... gonna get in trouble if this doesn't get loaded and transported? Roll an intimidate check. Oh God. Uh, was that going to be a 16, I think? Yeah, 16. He spits a little bit, but... He, yeah, he groans and complains and loud, wholehearted bitching. <laughs> uh, but he does uh, does wind up reloading the, uh, the five extra uh, containers and the six behind that he had to, so... Uh, while you guys are just kind of watching him do this, he loads yeah. 
<laughs> loads the wagon back up, um, and then hops back in the driver's seat. Uh, I'm just a little guy. I can't do much. <laughs> I'm just a little guy. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, we're ready to go. <laughs> And he uh, cracks the whip on the the wagon, and you continue on. Uh, day overall, uh, it gets hotter and hotter as you uh, continue on. Uh, bright, beating sunlight. Um, I need anyone without a natural constitution uh, above fourteen to roll a con save for me. <laughs> above or at fourteen? So fifteen or higher. Fifteen or higher. Okay. Is safe. Otherwise, go ahead and roll me a. Uh, <laughs> what are we rolling? This is twenty. Yeah. Oh. The twenty plus your uh, con speed. Uh, twenty-one. So you're I'm well. safe. You're safe. Twenty-one. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, you are definitely working on getting a little sunburnt right now, and then also, <laughs> uh, and also you are mm. suffering a little bit from fatigue and dehydration. It's a good thing that it we have like infinite me, water. Right now. I'm over in the corner feel... just streaming gallons into my mouth and then looking at friend like what? <laughs> uh, you feel you feel a little unwell. Okay. Um as uh, Did we not fill up our water skins you, when we left the place? I have water skins. You do have filled water skins. Okay. Um, but you are suffering from a level of tea. No, that's fine. But I'll, um, I'll, I'll not be dehydrated, at least. Correct. Okay. Um, that shouldn't be an issue ever again. Correct. <laughs> Assuming Guff doesn't misplace this thing. Or just continue drinking it. Just like... eat it again. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'll, I'll do. If, I, if it's in me, I'll never if be thirsty ever again. If I think guys shoot someone. Ah. The day progresses, uh, aside from the, the uh, deeply burning heat, uh, you don't suffer any additional uh, maladies or misfortune. Cool. You arrive uh, mostly unmolested by the... the, the, <laughs> the weather. way to put that. <laughs> mostly. Mostly. Only kind of. Just, uh, just there is a rather in but impressive didn't go below the... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there's a rather impressive uh, platform uh, built into the middle of the desert here. Uh, as you approach, you can see two uh, perfectly perpendicular tracks, uh, the general accoutrement of a uh, rail system, the crisscrossing uh, braces, and a race platform uh, made out of some sort of marbleized stone. Uh, leading up to it. All right, uh, as we get up there, I'm collapsing with Lil Guck on top of me and then like crawling out from underneath him. You <laughs> carried <laughs> him the entire way. I was thinking deal's a deal. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't specify. So, you know what? Let's give you a hero point for that. You wanted the above and beyond. Yeah. I'll take you all. You have to break it. my inspiration to point? Yeah. Yeah. Is <laughs> that the first one to an atmosphere page? It is. Wow. First shenanigans. Well done. First shenanigans. Gotta carry that over. Now we have an made of stone. 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 <laughs> yeah, I get up and my quads are just bulging. <laughs> They're just absolute marble clients. <laughs> Wait, so this is, you said it's a, like a platform. Does it look like there's like a overwatch or something on the top of this thing? There are guards on top. Uh, they're in the shaded uh, tower up on the side. Uh, you note that there is a essentially a cargo uh, zone where you can uh, park the wagon. Okay. While we're parking, I'd like to say to the group, we need to come up with the thing we tell people if they're like, hey, did you prevent any like robbing of the caravan like did you figure out who it was because i feel like that was kind of our mission right the, so the the specific thing you would agree to is to prevent all future uh robberies of the caravan. <laughs> so we so did we that. Say that nothing happened nobody we we didn't come up upon anything on our journey here because they well, said that they, they also said I that not like, every caravan has been attacked i feel like we can i would like to not divulge that we gave them back their sack of shit. Okay. <laughs> Won't they notice the missing goods? I would they like were to go, under a they, no. I would like to delusion. glaze over it. As far as we know, they don't know. Act like we it's... don't know anything 
left the caravan, but say like maybe that we encountered the mer merfolk, find out they were looking for something, and we didn't have it, but we, we came to an agreement with them. We also know that it seems like the people who have come back in previous caravans that have been looted have came back kind of in a daze and don't That's have right. recollection over previous events. So if we say out. that nothing happened, but there is something missing, we could have also potentially been jumped. But then we didn't prevent future jumps. Right, we didn't do our mission and got be mad if no gold. That's true. Um... <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, we... But that also, we, if they say that there's something missing from the caravan, but we also, if we took a inventory before we left, we can try to press on them, like, hey... Well, as far as we know, what, nothing missing? is missing, yeah. Let's, let's just go with we ran into the mirror folk and came to an agreement that they won't mess with them, the caravans anymore. Yeah, like, I as was, like, worded mess with them. truthfully, but very vaguely. They yeah. saw this guy's rippling quads, and they wanted nothing to do with it. <laughs> exactly. But should I should I intimidate Le Lehman, Leland? Warren? Lehman. Lehman, in a, going along with what we're saying here, I don't know how much he knows. He woke up in the middle of our negotiation. I that's room. true. And we didn't really help our rapport with him by making him... Yeah, I'm going up to leave and I'm like, you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and trying to intimidate him. We put him in... We, we, it's a 14. We, the crate we gave them with the sack, we brought the empty crate back and just put him in it. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's getting shipped off to the capital. No, <laughs> that's horrible. Fish, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Fish box. <laughs> Uh, 14, you realize uh, it's not going to extend really past the next interaction he has with someone, so he doesn't As long as tell, we get our gold, we're He good. doesn't tell <laughs> Orin. I'm good with that. Alright, man. If, if gold, oh, he, he perks up with that. Oh, if, if gold's what it's all about, I too am willing to reach agreements over gold. How much gold did we were we promised for this? Do we remember? 200 each. 200 each. We can give him a cut. I'm fine with that. I don't trust the... Each of us I don't trust anyone, gold. Frankly. Tell, we can tell him... I him offer him 25 gold. gold to keep his mouth shut. Let's ask him what he, he like He gave me fixed gold for rolling some dice for three seconds. That yeah, was fair bet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much he makes. Yeah. It's definitely not that much. What are you getting paid for this journey, sir? You see a few a few things flash on. You're not taking my job. What? <laughs> Employers always try to hold it against us and tell us not to discuss wages. We are the wage warriors. We fight for equality for everyone. We all yeah. want some, we all want a larger slice of pie. Ro roll a dipl uh, diplomacy check with advantage. <laughs> diplomacy would be a charisma. So that's just an eleven. It's an eleven. We talk a good game, but in order to make sure that our wage wage equity is there, ah! wage, oh! er, wage equity is there. Oh! Ah! <laughs> um, how, how about we start now? Uh, what what sounds like a fair what sounds like a fair bargain to you? Ten gold to keep my mouth shut now. How many? I'm out. 50 gold. 10 gold. 50 gold when we get back. Because I have 100 in my <laughs> 10. 10. That's more than six. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost positive. That is, in fact, correct. You're technically correct. The best kind of correct. Is he a dwarf? As he a member of Wage no. Warriors, no. you should He's know how much gold is. Can I do some sort of maybe like. Seduce him. <laughs> can I seduce him? I don't know what kind you of check it would be, try. but like, as an elf, I'm supposed to have like n bonding with like gnomes and fae creatures. Could I be the one to kind of be like trying to make a deal with him and see if I get any advantage on it? As like a, I think I even speak. She wants to sweet the talk language him. he speaks to. Uh, uh, is it Sylvan? No. Yes. I will give you a. Bonus two modifier if you're trying to diplomatize and using yeah so we'll go with sweet talking in the the technical sense the uh, the gnome in Sylvan we'll see how that goes show the skin dude you got this <laughs> little ankle fifteen 
<laughs> You're not making this better, Jay. Uh, okay, so you go. You you all are essentially like really like working on sweet talking this guy, and he realizes I got to get into the bear. Fifty gold. What? I'm thinking about hitting them. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is turning into a battle right now. A battle royale. Mm. <laughs> uh, as you guys are discussing this, the wagon is, is get, finishing getting unloaded. But yes, I think that that's my price. Fifty gold. Nobody hears anything. Bargain by the time we reach the other city, twenty five won't be too bad. I'm fine with fifty. We split it between all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Fifty. And firm handshake. And I'm sorry for, and an apology for making you love the caravan because we definitely could have helped that. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? Takes off gloves. This guy's on my bad list. Sleeve, touches hands. This guy's no. on my bad list. No, that's no not love, the no one. love. Where's Leland? You just made my, my, I didn't really have a mental picture of him, but now I know for sure he's got a mustache. <laughs> There's. <laughs> Right, so the, the wag I, just have, I just have Lehman the driver and Prince is asshole. <laughs> Dennis is asshole. <sighs> you made him load the wagon by himself. He's, he's on the list now. Wow. I don't want to be on that list. So I'm just going to look at the wagoneer as he's loading everything up and just go, ah, So where's our gold? It's a dragon. Your contract with this dra- with Drak and not me. Okay. All right, it's been got to head back. Have we spoken to Orin Jenton? Is this Orin that we're talking to? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> Do we want to watch so, the goods that they're unloading and see if anyone gets upset that these eggs might be gone? No, I think we should just dip. <laughs> <laughs> I say the second they got them off there, we're like, all right. See so, you guys later. <laughs> I think, yeah, I mean, if you want to do that, you can roll a perception or you can roll an uh, insight to see if they are in any way like aware. Suspicious. Or suspicious. I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to... We got a 19 and you said insight or what? Insight or perception. So 24. 24. Uh, with the 24, you, you kind of watch as they catalog the goods. Uh, did you guys bring the... Empty box back. Empty box. I didn't think about that until after when I made the joke about putting the guy in. <laughs> the um, ocean magic. What do you think? I guess I mean, we unplugged like in. We would have. There were the. There were like two things we gave them our folk in it? Yes. There's two boxes, yeah. I'm trying to think, being realistic. I feel like you they said probably they would want to take the, the whole crate underwater. I feel like it would make sense. If they took them out, yeah. They took. That they took the things out. Yeah, and we told we told Leland, whatever his name is, to to load it up with everything that he was tasked to deliver. So he would have loaded. Is it the crates. pretty reasonable that she would have remembered to do this? <clears throat> yeah, I feel like it'd be Me reasonable. And especially no, them. I think it would have. I just I don't know about. I, I think when we gave the merfolk, it would be reasonable that we would have just given them the things, not like a whole crate. Well, you said inside of the crate there was like like fish and all of that, but under some illusion magic, there was something kind of obscured within like the findings that of that crate, thing. right? So, I, yeah. so let's just rewind and say that you guys grab the cart, uh, the uh, crate, and put it back in the middle. Yeah, because Leland was tasked with delivering this stuff, so he would have loaded the caravan with whatever he was tasked to deliver, which would have included those two crates. I think it makes sense, and I appreciate your faith in us. <laughs> I like it. I carried a horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, yeah, he wasn't exactly in any kind of circumstances to make a decision like that. He had, a, he had his own personal yeah. perspective. At the time. Okay, so uh, they catalog and they note down that the uh, manifest is complete. All of the items they expected with one mildly damaged crate lid. A bumpy rug. (laughs) It's like a perfect fist print in it. (laughs) But it is otherwise fully uh, fully complete. So, um, So at this point, there is no additional suspicion. Nice. Right. So I, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I, I, so I'm just, I'm just gonna look at Oren. I'm just gonna say, um, 
How do I, how do I want to go about this? I don't like what you're doing right now. We need to leave, get our goals. <laughs> I want to be able to try to figure out, like, so off meta, not out loud. I want to figure out, like, if we want to, like, if we talked to him to try to be able to maybe get a lead to see exactly where they were trying to get. But if, you know, if he has any, since he's the. We know that everything's going to the capital based on where this train and everything. And then we know that he doesn't have any suspicion that anything's if, if going he doesn't have, yeah, from if he what did, we if got. If he doesn't have any suspicion, that means that he wouldn't know exactly what these guys were trying to pill for. I from. assume if Drake and Smith is bad, then when we get back, he'll have something to say to us. And then so also, I got a geyser. <laughs> correct. That's the thing. So off meta, also, you guys had essentially an entire day's worth of travel where you could have discussed some of those things. So if you do want to decide that you've discussed, will we ask him where it's going? You can do that. It doesn't mean he's going to divulge the information, but it's absolutely a line mm -hmm. of questioning you can pursue. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't be out okay. of character. We're only secure. We we this is why much. I said when we got there, I was like, oh, we should have been theoretically deciding the story to tell them, right? So let's say we did that. Which they didn't seem to ask, they just took inventory. But we need to like be like, yeah, we ran into Merfolk and made an agreement and not really give any further detail. And then we should probably also ask him just to satiate my curiosity, like who it's going to in the capital, since we only know it's going to the capital. I would like to know the <laughs> Yeah, I just wanna I just wanna ask Warren, so where's the stuff headed off to? Uh so it's in off the capital. Uh, overall, the fish goods have been pretty popular. Um, it's not the kind of thing that is a, a beautiful convenience for most people. Uh, it's actually, there's a couple chefs in the capital that have been using them in recipes. Okay. So it's mainly going to amazing. a couple, Thank you. surprisingly to me, Thanks. and uh, in general, uh, it's going to some upscale restaurants. Oh, very nice. nice. Oh my god, there's like rich Illuminati They're politicians that are eating mermaids. It's like shark fin soup, but it's yeah. not. Alright, well, cool. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, and you as well. I appreciate a uh, hazard-free delivery. And before I walk away, I pull my glasses down slightly and just give them a look holding out my alms box. Jingling my one <laughs> 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 it's beautiful. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> he's like, he's like, that's the real reward. <laughs> <The compliments. laughs> All right, well, so yeah, we're we... riding with the caravan back to Dragonsmith now. Uh, you don't have to. You could, uh, you could just decide to go and do literally anything else. I feel like we gotta go back with Leland Lehman, just because we did promise him more. We're security still. Until we get back yeah. to Dragonsmith and get our gold. Yeah. Is there anything... Where is this... I'm sorry, this might have been something you did already cover too, but I don't recall. But, like, where the train is that we bring you to, is it in a town or is it just kind of like a train station? There's certainly a train station. There's a small outpost built up around it. There's okay. a couple uh, guard towers. Um, overall, it's not deeply uh, built out. Yeah. Um, you can definitely see that it is beginning to happen, though. Just okay. with any any situation like this, yeah. uh, you're starting to see the beginning uh, points of uh, settle, settling happen. Sure. Okay, I'm not intrigued to like go anywhere here, so I'm fine to head back. Yeah, sure. Get my money. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> see if anything happened on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> a giant dune one. I was so pro mermaid, and then it turns out that this like mermaid army shows up and they're like idiots. <laughs> the the mere folks are showing up, they're like, ha, -ha tricked you. <laughs> so they bring everyone. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you guys uh, make the journey. The first day passes uneventfully. Uh, but as you're crossing uh, the next morning, um, you spot signs of large pod footprints. 
everybody get there. Start dancing. Uh, everybody roll initiative. Initiative is just dex and that, right? Yes, yeah, so that's what you went with. Yeah, I got eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to need to get a scrap of paper and get some initiatives in here. One second, I didn't think to bring a second book, so I'm going to have it in here. All right, so what is our first stop here? Would Will. you like a sheet? Uh, I would prefer that, actually. Yeah. Oh, I have a seven. We got to print them out, one of those ones you did for me. We do. Oh, let me make you an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> All right, so we'll get initiatives, and we'll take a quick break after this, but uh, first up. Seven. Ten. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eighteen, <laughs> but after Dre, because he also rolled eighteen. Uh, he's better dexterity? No, I think we have the same dex. That's fine, then. Plus two bonus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So two eighteens, and... And I broke the tie of fourteen. First. Alrighty. <laughs> Everybody's movement speed here. I get 35. 30. 30. Okay. <clears throat> Are you small? So, Thanks. as you guys, little one, three, uh, little, like... approach the paw prints, uh, Lehman begins to slow the wagon and you begin to look nervously around. And uh, near the back half of the cart, you hear. Uh, pair of growls in unison as two enormous lions leap to attack the wagon. Uh, you're caught surprised by like... the initial strike, but after they take their attack, we will go through initiative, but let's take a quick break. Okay. Yeah. Thank you guys for stopping by. This has been the Trial of the Sun through the New School Project. You can follow us on all major socials, and I hope you have a lovely day.